Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of a the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Have you heard of Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo Y. Calderon? Born to a German father and a mestiza mother, she had polio as a girl, was run over by a bus at 18, joined the Mexican Communist Party in 1927, married muralist Diego Rivera, became Trotsky's lover, held a solo exhibition in New York in 1938, sold one of his bad paintings to the Louvre, died aged 47. Political activists discover Frida from the 1970s onwards. In the 1990s, she becomes an emblematic figure, worshipped by feminists and lovers of indigenous tradition. Fabulous if all were true. Frida Kahlo never broke her spine in a bus accident. Oh, she never rode a bus. One of the richest women in the world, she was from the Rockefeller bloodline. Her alleged husband, Rivera, was the model for the colossal heads of a false Olmec civilization, had his dubious murals painted by others, staged a volatile union with a girl dressed in gaudy colors, warring flowers in the hair. Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo Y. Calderon. Sound names, tragic stories, the same old tricks of Jesuitical storytellers. Get used to it. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something, and, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Hitler's father was born in a bombed city in Lower Austria, Dollersheim, with 2,000 inhabitants evacuated by the Wehrmacht. Wiki claims he became a shoemaker's apprentice at 13, recruited to work as custom agent by the Austrian finance minister at 18. Two historians fought to establish Alois's paternity. As the eminences reached no conclusion, they spread rumors that was a Jew. After Nuremberg trials, someone establishes he has unblemished Aryan pedigree. Other says, Alois's father was a Rothschild baron, visiting a Vienna house, where Alois's mother was a servant. Jesuit storytellers love replay soap operas. Alois would get pregnant Clara Hitler, also a 16-year-old servant. In 1889, Hitler is born. Wiki does not know who Alois's father is, but claims he liked to be at home with his five children. Alois dies in 1903 when he goes in the morning for a glass of wine. Alois Schickelgruber image is a doctored image of Teddy Roosevelt. Clara is Edith. They had five children. One was the Hitler who led the Great War. Women are ignored by history unless their accomplishments are designed to advance the agenda. For this purpose, female characters are created and romanticized. This is the case of Amelia Earhart who disappeared in 1937. Considered an aviation pioneer and the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic, Amelia's role was to promote commercial aviation shortly after the Hindenburg airship was blown up by the usual suspects in the midst of a worldwide campaign, warning the population to abandon safe silent and cheap airship flights, to fly the noisy and expensive flights, inaugurating the British-American's petrodollar profits here. The Hindenburg explosion occurred on May 6, 1937. Amelia first solo across the Atlantic Ocean was on July 2, 1937. 
After his disappearance, we found out that a fire three years earlier had conveniently burned away all of Amelia's belongings. Her husband worked at Paramount in Hollywood, and she was good friends with Eleanor Roosevelt. Ubiquitous Roosevelts. Pave temples that were created by a civilization unknown to science. One of the unidentified caves are the Kondana Caves, located about 30 kilometers from the city of Lanavala. The group of 16 caves is believed to have been created by hand, using a primitive tool, and from scratch. However, it is very difficult and even impossible to create such masterpieces by hand and with a primitive tool, so it is hard to believe. Hence, there is a quite logical question who created these caves. Most likely it was a civilization unknown to science, which had high knowledge and technology. Be that as it may, but scientists still do not agree on who made these caves, and for what purpose. The Chinese Lanju Grottoes, discovered in 1992, quickly gained popularity because of the traces of processing, similar to the traces of modern mining equipment. A similar grotto system was discovered 100 kilometers from Lanju. One of the mountains turned out to be hollow inside because some unknown civilization, the scientists called it a civilization, had cut down and removed almost all the rock in the area of 7 square kilometers. Official historians have noted, explaining that the ancient Chinese mined stones here to build their houses. Only the stone houses were not found. After all, the rock can be traced, as it was done in the Egyptian quarries. Then historians had the assumption that the rock was taken out along the Xinan River. What happened to 200,000 cubic meters of stone, or about 5,500 freight cars? Here, the officials were silent. The mystery of the disappearance of the largest metropolis of antiquity. For about a century, leading minds have not been able to solve the mystery of the disappearance of the city of Mahenjo-daro, with a population of 50,000 people. 5,000 years ago it was one of the largest cities in the world. Researchers stumbled upon the remains of this city in Pakistan in 1923. Traces of great fire and destruction were visible throughout the city. But what interested archaeologists most of all was the fact that the city had no burial grounds or graves. According to experts, Mahejo Dero existed for about 1.5 thousand years. Why haven't the researchers found any burials around the city? The only thing that archaeologists found were the remains of people without any signs of physical impact. Apparently, people died instantly, unaware of their impending death. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.